All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One, if you have one. My name is Eric, and today we will be reviewing Padron 1926 ADF. So yeah, this Padron look nice, you know? I like Padrons, Padrons are pretty good cigars. Uh, they've been around and they don't give a fuck who buy their cigar or not, and they don't give a damn how their cigar look. But this one look actually decent. In my opinion, it looked really good. Why don't we take a closer look at it? All right, here's the cigar. Padron 1926, 80th anniversary or 80 years anniversary. Um, Yeah. You have a, like every Padron have a serial number. Pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty good looking. I like this look. Very like old school, you know, uh, kind of bands as well. But it works for them, it worked for them. So, uh, wrapper is Nicaraguan Maduro. Uh, binder is Nicaraguan, filler is Nicaraguan, so it's a Nicaraguan Piro. Uh, the size is 6 3 4 by 54, uh, double perfecto box press MSRP for 35 30 not bad not bad at all but yeah I like the way this cigar look I really do I don't know though like these before uh, have really hard draw with these so we see what happened today all right now let's cut it and light it so yeah it's a Maduro so it's it's darker I seen I had the natural one I have the natural one and it looked kind of cool but it's not like a perfect leaf but yeah these smell amazing these smell amazing all right let's cut it and light it and see how it is they have a big old cap on this too like a big old cap Nice clean cut. Cold draw. Oh, the cap's falling apart. Jesus. Why are you falling apart already, Padrones? Why are you falling apart already? Gotta give it a little spit, put it back in place. And it should be fine. Maybe. <laughs> we see. Hmm. It's not fine. Uh oh, boys. Uh oh. We have Houston, we have a problem. But yeah, call draw. Nothing much, you know, the draw is kind of crappy because of the uh, tapered foot. But yeah, let's light it. Blast of pepper on the retro well, man. A little bit of harshness. But then it finished with a cocoa. And dusty chocolate.
very chocolatey, woodsy, a little bit of earthy. Padron just tastes good, right? To be honest, it just tastes good. Spicy, and a retro hell, woodsy, cedary, chocolatey, cocoa y. All the sweet note this cigar has. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's a spice bomb, though. Yeah, there's like spicy chili kind of lingering on the palate as well. Nice sweet wood, dark, earthy, leathery, but it's not like overly just overly earthy or overly leathery, anything like that. It's just a hint, just enough is there that it just it's just mixed in with the other flavors. But yeah, that's it for the few puff. Actually, starting out really good. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the first third. All right, first third. Good burn line. Tell the truth, this is a great burn line. Good draw. So, uh, black cherry, kind of creaminess, pepper on the back of the throat, on the retro hell, it's actually getting smoother and smoother. The retro hell, you get dankiness, a little bit of dark raisin sweetness as well. A little caramel on the palate and the retro hell. It's good to go. Ain't too bad. But it still tastes like... Seriously, it tastes like Patron's, right? You know what I mean? If you ever smoke... Except for the 50th. The 50th is the really good cigar. But that one's a whole nother level. This one, it tastes like almost every other 1926, to tell the truth. Uh, Maduro one, at least. But yeah. First third, nice creamy of uh, raisin, uh, pepper, sweet, caramel, chocolate, cocoa, and all of that. That's that's good. That's great. So it's actually a really enjoyable cigar. But the, I noticed the strength on this thing is pretty much medium plus as of the first third already. So I have a feeling the strength on this thing will ramp. Uh, body is full body. The flavor is there, boy. You can't miss the flavor. But yeah, that's it for the first third. Pretty enjoyable first third, to tell the truth. All right, I see you guys at the end of the second third. Look at this ash, man. Mm. Padron, 80th. All right, second, third is, is literally, it's just no Nicaraguan Puro, but it's nice though. It's a safe, you know, it's a safe cigar. It's a good cigar. Now I have like a nice danky creaminess. A little bit of sweetness on the retro health. The black pepper spice have calmed down on the retro health quite a bit. There's like almost none on the retro health for me. But there is a little bit of spice on the palate. Woodsy, cedar, a little creaminess, a little raisin sweetness on the palate as well. With a little chocolate, molted chocolate, uh, cocoa is still there. So it's the strength actually, it's just sitting. It just Cruising is not rising, which is surprising, to tell the truth. Yeah, so it's very smooth right now. Pepper have died down a lot. Everything else, the dankiness is, is like the dominant flavor with uh, chocolate, cocoa, and cedar. And like a really dark oak wood on the finish, which is fine. You know what I mean? The pepper died down, it's cool, it's all good. 
So overall, secondary is not bad either. It's not like something amazing. Woo, you know, it doesn't take me to the moon or anything. But it's consistent, it's safe, it's a safe profile, uh, safe blend. But yeah, that's it for the second third. Let's see where this uh, the last third goes. It's probably gonna stay the same. It's not gonna go something, I don't think it would go something crazy, right? Right? <clears throat> I don't think so. So yeah, I see you guys at the end of the cigar. Final third, um, the end of the cigar. Nothing changed. It's just that chocolate, mocha, cocoa kind of thing. The retro L. A spice, earthiness, leathery, a little bit of cocoa, dark raisin here and there. The dankiness have fallen off. Look, that finish is kind of like a, kind of like a barnyard finish, which is kind of nice, right? Kind of nice. But yeah, uh, I didn't transition too much from the second third, except for the first third. Uh, after the first third, the uh, second third, pop up die down. Same thing here. It's quite a little. It's 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 come back a little bit, but it's not like crazy amount. So overall, it's not bad cigars. Enjoyable. So I would rate this cigar from one to ten. I would say seven point six. So it's a rebuy or five pack for me. Uh, the way I rate my cigar is one to six point nine is a no go. Seven to seven point nine is a rebuy or five pack. Ain't above the box worthy. This one is a 7.6. So it's a good cigar. It's a rebuy, five pack. Get it if you want to. They're everywhere. Tell the truth. And um, yeah, that'd be it for the review. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you next time. Peace!